Hey guys and welcome to a brand new video. I'm Joe. If you're new around here, make sure you click that subscribe button for daily sports and retro gaming content. Today we have something very different and it is the Tour de France 2019 game uh, or 2019 season I think it's called by uh, Big Ben and Cyanide uh, developers. Big thank you to uh, Dead Good uh, for giving me the review code for this game i really do appreciate it it's something i've never played before i'm really looking forward to getting stuck into it i have went ahead and played the the training of it uh just so i didn't make a complete idiot of myself but um no uh it seems like a very good game and uh, you know for, for you guys who are, are looking uh, to pick it up we'll have a little first look but let me know if you want to see uh, a full series on it and um you know, we'll see what we can do. We'll see how this video does, and uh, certainly if it's enjoyable, I'd be up for doing it. So let's have a little look at what's new in this game. So we've got some new sprint challenges, uh, a new classic race as well, uh, and we have the Pro Team World Championships. So be named as national team manager, select your riders depending on the race profile, and try to win the World Championship. So it's not just the Tour de France on this game. There's many other cycling events as well. And we got the Pro Leader World Championship, which seems more like the, the, the career mode from what I see uh, so far in the game. Uh, enriched My Tour, uh, so customise your race by fixing the number of riders per team as well as the colour of the distinctive jerseys. Uh, and improved trajectories as well. Your riders and opponents will now follow a more realistic trajectory and take bends in a more natural fashion so leading to improved immersion inside the peloton so yeah there's uh, a few different modes that's i guess the career mode uh, for this game there's also a manager mode as well which is fun uh, there's a tutorial for idiots like me who've never played the game uh, we've got challenge mode as well uh, but race is probably the one a lot of people will do we've got the tour de france we've got the uh, criterium du 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 far no idea i didn't do french at school did german so um we've got paris to nice as well uh we've got paris to uh Rubon. uh we've got the vlanderen classic I innsbruck uh london as well brussels uh so a lot of different different modes but what we're gonna do today is the tour de france of course because that's what this game is about uh, so you can be solo co-op versus, uh, so you can have the default uh, cyanide settings or you can uh, do some custom ones. Uh, we have professional, amateur, legend, champion and professional difficulty. So I I'm going to go on professional difficulty. Hold on, does that? No it doesn't, never mind. <laughs> um, I thought it changed depending on which way you did it. But yeah, we'll, we'll just keep it on the default settings and see how much of an idiot I can uh, make of myself today. Okay, so these are the riders then. Uh, from what I've seen, I don't think Chris Froome's in the game. Obviously he's not playing, or riding this year I should say, after his crash. Uh, and Geraint Thomas, I'm not, not sure if he's going to be getting involved either. Um, but we'll see, because uh, Gary and Thomas obviously won it last year, didn't he? So, um, yeah. Well, Kital, he's somebody that I've heard of, so let's go for him. Uh, we'll not alter the team, and we'll just get into it. Hi guys, welcome to the briefing for this first stage. The main thing to grasp today is that the route is flat and it harbors no particular difficulties. A sprint finish is more than likely. We can finish on the podium or even win if all goes well. I'm counting on you to stay up front in the final 20 kilometers. Have a good stage, guys. Go, go. 
So there you go, pep talk from the coach there. But uh, you can see all 21 stages in there. Um, but we'll play this first one from Bruxelles to Brussels, uh, which is 192 kilometers. So it's a pretty long stage, this one. So, uh, chance information. What's all of this? Was a change information? No, I think it's change information. <laughs> Favorites. Without any major difficulty, this stage should end in a bunch of sprint. Uh, with two cobblestone hills lying at the very beginning of the stage, they represent no particular difficulty. Oops. Uh, the cobbled sector is not also not placed at a point that would make it decisive. Uh, key phases, general classification, flat stages are except su surprise. Um, without interest for the general classification, hoped for result. Uh, Cattell is our best chance on this stage. He can target a podium today. So let's get into it. Uh, do you want to race the stage or run it in quick stage mode? You will race the stage as normal with the possibility to fast forward when you want. Shall we do quick? Oh, hold on. This stage will be raced very quickly right to the finish without you being able to take control. Let's, let's play it. We'll give it a go. We know we'll end the video early if we uh, think it's going too long. I have no concept of how long or short this video is going to be um, but we'll give it a go so the favourites are Sagan, Demare Dagan Kolb right now I played a very brief uh, version of the tutorial so what's this then ok so are we going for Kittel? They did say Kittel before, didn't they? Greetings, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the Grand Depart of the 2019 Tour de France. Setting out from the Belgian capital, Brussels, this Grand Depart celebrates the 50th anniversary of the first yellow jersey claimed by Eddie Merckx, five times winner of the Tour de France. I don't know what Square does. Used... What does Square do? You've just triggered a follow mode. As long as you hold down square, your rider will follow. Okay. Yeah, continue to display that. Um. Yeah, just sort of staying close to these guys for now. So I have no concept of how far we have to go. I guess the top left corner shows you a little bit. Or is that just our experience? I'm trying to, to find somewhere where it tells us. Well, somebody's went. Let's go after him. Let's go. It should very much resemble a classic flat stage. With a breakaway by the Baradors and Sprinters teams pulling the strings. Trying to follow him. It's not working though. I'm not sure whether I should be attacking this early on. But it's cool, it's definitely a, a very, very cool game and, and something I've never actually come across before, but I, um, I know they're quite popular games. One minute for the breakaway, it's looking good. Come on. To just keep them in sight. Hopefully, catch up to them enough to be able to benefit from the slipstream a little bit. The breakaway threatens the overall standings. He's decided to get his guys to put their foot down. Keep going, keep going. Right. So, sort of trying to stay with them. Definitely need to conserve some energy here. So I'll whip it round this corner. Round all day long. Go, go! Come on, 
let's uh, let's just catch up to these. There we go. But it's incredibly accurate, sort of the the roads and stuff. I'd be interested to see how how accurate this is, this represents the, the the track in real life, or whether it is actually just uh, completely and utterly right. Do you know what I mean? Right, let's uh, try and follow these a little bit. Oh, come on! Can we follow. There we go. That'll do. So we'll just follow him for now. We made our own little peloton here. Up at the front. Can we have a look behind, please? Yeah, absolutely broke and everybody else. But we'll try and conserve some energy now. Now, we're all just pulling each other along, you know. I'm assuming that the thing on the right hand side is probably uh, what we're looking at in terms of how far along we've got. But it's quite a useful feature just to be following. He's after the points classification. Yeah, I have no concept really of uh, of what we're what we're aiming for. Let's have a have a little look. So, uh, there's the classifications at the moment. I guess that's that's the full classification, so we haven't quite got that. Uh, I think I think that should be fine. Can we fast forward? That's that's what I want to know. Oh dear, no. Ah, we lost them. Right here we go. We'll go after them again. There's an attack behind. That'll do. Right, so. Don't let the counter attack catch up. The peloton won't let such a large group get away. R1 maybe? What's that? You just acts it. It allows you to increase the effort. Okay. Oh, so you can change camera angle. What's triangle? It allows you to increase the contents of your. Okay. What's that do? Oh, we can give instructions. Okay. Cool. Five or six riders in front. The sprinters will get their teammates to ride. There we go. I'm just trying to work out how you. Uh, fast forward at all. Anyway, a look at the controls. Let's have a little look. Apparently not. <laughs> Ah, there we go. Press an X is, is uh, fast forwarded it a bit. There we go. So the top left corner, you can see uh, how long we've got left. Two hours apparently, but obviously you can see how quickly they're moving down. So we'll keep an eye on these these riders for now. We're still in the front group, which is good.
looks like you've got an exit slip from the peloton. It's riding quietly. There we go, guys. I've worked out how to fast forward it now, so it's in team comms. A cult location for Belgian cycling. Oh, hold on. Ah, so we can skip to a certain point, but no, I, I think we'll stick with this. Ah, we seem to have lost that group, though. A new cobblestone hill is in view at the front of the race, Le Bosberg. For a long time, oh no! Oh, for goodness' sake! I thought it now serves as final arbiter on the Umloop Het Mjosblad Classic, and is well known to the riders. Ah, we made a, a mess of that one. That's annoying. The Bosberg is a fairly short hill, only 800 metres. There's one point to be gleaned by the first rider to reach the top. All right. So we need to catch up to these folks up the hill. Struggling though. We're literally crawling up this hill. People are surely going to catch us soon. Come on. Getting back onto the road. There we go. After these cobblestone hills, typical of the Flanders classics, the race should settle down with the sprinters' teams getting a handle on events in order to set up a mass sprint finish in the streets of Brussels. Right, so I think what we're going to have to do is do an auto skip forward and hope they get back into this. Here we go. Let's watch him. Let's see what he does. We do seem to be in the lead though, so... I think the peloton is uh, is well behind us. Ah, oh, there, there we go. Hold on. I don't know. Let's just keep going with it. I don't know whether this is meant to happen. <laughs> I'm guessing not. 
I'm guessing we just we've messed up I think the riders will soon be competing for the first intermediate sprint of this Tour de France fought out in Courcel it will give us a chance to see the men who harbor ambitions for the points classification now it's well, here we go Ah, endpoint reached. Is that what we wanted? Have I messed this up? Oh, okay, so we've reached the bit that I said we would. Okay, so we're 52 seconds off the lead at the moment. There's a couple of folks ahead of us. So we're in the final six kilometers or so of this race. I don't know when is the best moment to attack, really. Five kilometers for the peloton. Kilometers for the peloton. The sprint is inevitable. Just got to try and conserve as much energy here. I have no idea where we are in the leaderboard. It's the red pennant. The sprint will be launched. Yeah, we haven't got enough energy. Damn it. Let's just... There you go. <laughs> we, we completely messed that up in the end. Oh, dear. The last ride is seven kilometres away. So... We'll see what happens. Yeah, you can see... That wasn't good. But I'm interested to see how we did. He was the first across the finishing line. Here is the winner of the inaugural stage of this Tour de France. He found a way to master his rivals in order to raise his arms in victory. Congratulations to him for this high-flying performance. He will climb onto the podium to receive it. He tops the standing. He will climb onto the podium. We can say that... <laughs> there was a lot of... Uh, really is a stage to forget. ...stuff there. We had the means to be amongst the front runners, and we didn't even get into the top ten. It's a disappointment. We could have hoped for a... Where did we start, end up? But it doesn't matter. We'll have other chances to do better. Deary me, we were terrible. Surely we weren't, we weren't this far down, were we? Oh, maybe I missed us. But that is just a whistle-stop tour of uh, the Tour de France game. And, uh, yeah, I, I really enjoyed that. Obviously, I don't exactly know what I'm doing in that sort of... Oh, there we are, 115th. What are the chances of that I ended up on our thing? Anyway, never mind. But, um... Yeah, I, you know, obviously I, I have to learn how to play these games as well, but it, it is, does look a very good game. 
and uh, I'm, I believe it's out now on the PlayStation 4. I think it's out in a couple of weeks on Xbox. Uh, I don't know why they're they're different. I, I had a look on game and it, it had a different release date. I have no idea why. But if you have enjoyed that, then make sure you leave a like down below. It really does help me out. It means a lot to me as well. Let me know down in the comments if you would like to see more of this Tour de France game. And I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. Thanks for watching and goodbye.